going on everybody so i demoed an obnoxiously long video of G armored shabo gen 3 which by the way i have been very fortunate to play gen 1 and gen 2 and now gen 3 and to all you guys who own the gen 1 and 2 i'm sure you're as slightly irritated as i was that this time there was no updating it because this was rebuilt from the ground up. So there's no getting your Gen 2 and making it a Gen 3 or your Gen 1 and making it a Gen 3. But I will say this. If you can sell it, there's people who really, really like the first and second version but weren't able to get one. Let it go at a fair price and reinvest into this. Especially if it was kind of missing those little things... Like with me, it never really got tight enough. It, I mean, you try to get it tight, it had like this little crispy, fizzy top. It was slightly annoying. But I get why it was there. But uh, for I'm very dry and tight when I play, for the most part. I mean, sometimes I get a little loose, but you know, I'm also fucking your mom sometimes, so that happens. So, also... You're using expensive gear all the time. I'm using the plumes. Right now. Black Friday deals everywhere. You can get that thing for like 80 bucks. So, shut the fuck up. Alright. So here is the stock sound we get from the Sabo. We're on the low gain mod that's on the back. It's called a Thack, Thack Switch. So as you can tell, it's really rock and roll, right? Yeah. She's rock and roll. But if you're like me, you're a metal guy. So let, let, let's embarrass ourselves and do a little bit of metal. As you can tell, she's really not in metal territory, but you can hear that the metal is coming, right? So we got the plumes. I'm gonna play a riff with it set just in what I'm calling rock and roll mode. And then we're gonna smash that plumes. And I'm not adding any gain with the plumes. It's all just the volumes cranked and tones in the middle. All right, here we go.
So that's just the simple boost on the low gain. And literally, I have the, everything at 50%. And all switches are down. So essentially, the amp is dead. It's dead flat. And I just hooked the plumes up to it. So if you can do that at dead flat with the plumes, literally with the gain all the way down, toggle in first position, level crank to the sky because it's a fucking overdrive and the tone in the middle, that's what you get. Think about on the other spectrum of all those knobs, all the tonal possibilities that you have. This amp right here is expensive. I say it's in the right place in the market, which yeah, it's expensive. You have a lot of options. You could do a lot of genres with it. It's kind of a do-all amp except for clean. This thing does not clean. It does not fucking clean. If I could uh, suggest anything for James to put into his Sabo, and I understand why he doesn't, because if you know anything about single channel amps, you can put all your efforts into one channel, and you don't have to share nothing with another channel, you have to share power, tubes, not, nothing. It's all, put the best of the best of what you can do into one channel. I get that. But it would be kind of cool, even if it's like an independent channel that had like just one tube or something, just to have a clean that has just a tone and a volume. If that was it, I think this would really be ultra competitive, but to me it already is because whether you play country, classic rock, hard rock, metal, doom, death, it does it all. And it does it all really, really well. It's built with the highest components you can get your hands on. And there's nothing cheap about it at all. Nothing. So yeah, they started out at, at 2500 bucks and you can get your mods done before it leaves the shop and you can spend upwards of I want to say it's $2,900 for it to be completely jacked and stacked with every damn thing in the kitchen sink thrown at it but really at the end of the day it's an awesome amp so right out of the box everything in the middle with just a shitty ass regular price we'll call it the regular price just for all you guys like to cry $100 overdrive pedal by Earthquaker Devices called the Plumes. <laughs> you get them used for like 50 bucks everywhere. But I didn't use anything fancy. It's literally, my chain is my signature Deviant guitar, which yes, it's expensive. Fucking dickheads. Going into a Plumes, going into the Armored. That's going into my Monster Cab, which has eminent speakers in it, and I have the Man o War mic'd up with a Sennheiser E609. And that's going directly into my Zoom Q8N 4K camera. No computers, no editing programs. It's literally a USB goes into my, uh, not the USB, the SD card goes into my phone. I chop off stupid parts of me walking around here hooking stuff up. But other than that, other than chopping stuff out to save time because my shit's already long enough. You don't need all the fuckery that goes on in here. You know, you're getting... Start to finish. Plunk. You're getting it, man. It is what it is. And this thing's fucking awesome. Like, if I can do this with my Bodunk setup and make it sound that good, and I'm not really making it sound that good, it just sounds that fucking good. So, yeah. Definitely check out Armored. And in my opinion, if you're going to get one, yes, you're going to see some Gen 1s and Gen 2s floating around for about $1,500, $1,600 is a pretty fair price. 17 if they've had it upgraded from 1 to 2. 17, 1700 probably for the Gen 2 is fair. But this right here, it, nothing against Gen 1 and Gen 2 because they were good amps. But this one here is just kind of a little more refined and I don't know. It's just better. He keeps getting better. That's all you can ask from an amp builder. So I'm just chucking something with a different, you know, like, V3, and it's like one tiny little thing fixed. No, he rebuilt this son of a bitch from the ground up, and it shows. It really does. Anyhow, 
Y'all have yourselves a good one. My name is Truck Driver Sean. I'm an asshole and I make videos about fucking your mom on the internet. I mean, I'm uh, playing guitar on the internet. And uh, yeah, this is a hobby for me. But still, I'd appreciate it if you'd like not be a shithead and like hit the subscribe button because it helps if I want to borrow gear. Like luckily, I've been around long enough and James knows that I'm a huge fan of his work. So I got very lucky and... He literally sent this out to Fluff and me. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I'm walking with that kind of friggin' people. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty awesome when you can be using the same sentence as Ryan Bruce. So, yeah. You're going to see a lot of videos with this thing. I really do love this amp. I'm going to try to show all kinds of different stuff. I'm going to get the 7 string out and I'm going to tune it super low. I am going to get some of the expensive overdrives. Because, <laughs> yeah, if you want a 7 string to sound good, you, you're going to pay for it. So yeah, all right, very cool. Keep music evil, bring metal to the children. Definitely check out Armored Amplification. For no other reason than it's just badass stuff, right? And uh, don't be a dick. Subscribe to my shit. Any questions, comments, or you can find me on Instagram and on Facebook, Truck Driver Sean. Very simple. And if you want the little stupid thing for Instagram, it's Truck underscore driver underscore Sean underscore TDS capital letters on the TDS. All right. Very cool. Catch you in the next video. Later.